Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to share a devotion with you today, and I would title it even though. You know, have you ever said that? I'm going to do this even though I know I'm not going to make it, or even though I know I'm wasting my time. We use that even though sometimes on a lot of phrases. Before I get to that, I wanted to, to share my funny with you and get you through today. It says, hello friends, happy Wednesday. Maybe you're having a bad day and I want to cheer you up and I want to remind you as we share this scripture to be positive. My scripture today, and I want to share it with you, is from the book of, I've always been taught to pronounce it as Habakkuk. The correct pronunciation is Habakkuk. Uh, so, hey, either way you say it is fine. We're going to go to the chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. Notice this scripture. And it may apply to your life as well. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will find joy in the God of my salvation. Now, Habakkuk, or Habakkuk, was having a bad day. He sounds like he's having a bad year. And we've all been in that position as well, haven't we? You know, every Christian, every human could paraphrase those words from that scripture, right? We've all been in that position, uh, what's the phrase, two ste uh, one step forward and two steps back. I can't seem to get ahead for anything. We've all felt that way, haven't we? We've been in that situation where God seems to be absent from our needs. We're praying, we're crying out to him. Question is, what do we do when that happens, when we go through those phases in our life? Do we give up on God? Or do we praise him, as the scripture says, even though he doesn't seem to be there? You know, that must have been how Joshua felt when God told him, and I'm going to paraphrase, he said, lead the Israelites into Canaan or the promised land and drive out the pagan inhabitants and secure the land as a homeland for my people. But then God gave Joshua the key to accomplishing his assignment that, that God had assigned him to do. God said, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God promised Joshua he would not be alone. And I want you to realize that that promise applies to us as well. We are not alone when we set out on our seemingly impossible task, which today, those impossible tasks seem to be just to survive, right? I, w I can assure you that Joshua felt many days that God had forsaken him, that he was alone, but he promised him he wouldn't. And there's one thing I have noticed in all my studies of God's word, God cannot lie. When he says something, it happens. And God is good for his word. So he has promised that he will always be with us. I want you to remember God does not commission us without provision and also the promise of his presence. We only have to be strong and of good courage is what scripture says, right? And God will bless us. So we need to be faithful. Maybe you're going through a dry spell in your life right now where things don't seem to be going your way. We all have those spells. Some of us have them more than others. And sometimes I feel like I might have had enough for others. So maybe some people are not having them at all, maybe because it seems like I've had their share as well. But I think that's normal. Our faith is being tested in God and he's preparing us for something bigger. So don't give up on God. Because as scripture says, who would we turn to? There's nobody else to go to but God. He's the creator of all. And so we need to follow him. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you receive a blessing. I want you to pray with me before we go. Almighty God, I praise you and I thank you. And Father, we just acknowledge that your scripture helps us so much. And when we go through those dry spells and it seems like you're not there, we know you are. Help us, Father. Help us to have more faith in you. Help our faith grow. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that your Holy Spirit will remind us when we get down and discouraged that you will not forsake us, that you promise to be with us. 
and you will. We thank you for that, Father, and we praise you. We ask your blessings upon us to help us do your will. We know that you will not give us more than we can handle. But, Father, let us feel your presence. Let us know you're with us. Guide and direct us and continue to bless us and strengthen us so that we might honor you and glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. If you can't join us, remember to follow us on YouTube and Facebook and download the app. It's free. You'll get a, a lot of use out of it. It's really, really neat. It's easy to use. I made it so that even I could use it. So I know it's, it's good enough for you. It'll be easy for you to use. Have a great day. Stay safe.